If you need to find three equivalent fractions for 5 twentieths, here's how you do it. What we want to do is find other fractions that are equivalent. They're equal to 5 divided by 20. They have the same decimal value, just that the numerator and the denominator are different. For 5 twentieths, we can simplify this because 5 goes into 20 four times. It goes into itself one time. So we divide 5 by 5, we get 1. 20 divided by 5, that's 4. So 5 twentieth, an equivalent fraction, would be 1 fourth. And if you divide 5 by 20 or 1 by 4, you get 0 0.25. Same thing for both of these because they're equivalent. Let's try another one. So instead of division, we could multiply. We could multiply 5 twentieth times 1. But that just gives us 5 twentieths. doesn't change anything. What if we multiplied by 2 over 2? 2 divided by 2 is just 1. We don't change the value, just the way it's represented. Because now, 5 times 2, that's 10. And 20 times 2 is 40. And 10 fortieths, that's an equivalent fraction to 5 twentieths. 10 divided by 40 gives you the decimal 0 0.25. It is equivalent to 5 twentieths. One last one. So here we multiplied by 7 over 7. But 7 divided by 7 is just 1 didn't change the value, it's still 0.25, but now we have the equivalent fraction 35 over 140. So all of these here are equivalent fractions to 5 twentieths. It's Dr. B. Thanks for watching.